Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Uh, this is a short video to show you how to measure the 535 oscillator to see how well the Wave4 pullback has performed. To show the diversity for this particular indicator suite, this time I'm using an E-mini futures one minute chart to show you um, how this works. So as you can see on the top of the chart there, we've had the Wave3. The Wave 4 pullback has found support uh, right at the, the red zone, and then it's gone on to make a new Wave 5 high. The oscillator down at the bottom, as you can see in red here, you can see the Wave 4 pullback at its lowest point in here. So to measure this is very simple. We go to Fib Extension. We go to the highest point on the oscillator during the third wave, which is here. We click once. We then go down to the zero line, click again, and then go back to the highest point of the wave three on the oscillator. As you can see here, I've already put these as default on my system on TradeStation. So 90% and 140% is here. And as you can see, the wave four crowned on the oscillator within this zone and then pulled back made new the wave five high so you combine these two the pullback zones and the oscillator pullback to give you uh, a good sense of the probability it's going to go on and make a fifth wave just to show you how to change those on and to format you can go on to here and you will just change this one to 90 percent and this one to 140 percent you can even set as default down here on your extension tool so this is the 535 oscillator for the Elliott wave indicator suite and I've used the trade station version for this short video